Oh, hello, this is Tak Chong from Walk with Tak. In this video, I would like to discuss the stirring in the process of uh, stir fry. This is a companion video uh, to the other video I posted earlier on frying. Stirring and frying is interdependent uh, in the process of stir fry. Now, if you don't fry at high temperature, then you don't need to stir. However, if you don't stir, you could not fry at high temperature because food is going to get burned. So stirring is critical to stir fry. And I recognize that early on, if I want to cook stir fry regularly, I better get a better stirrer that is designed to do the work. A standard steel wok spatula like this one is designed for uh, stir fry. In fact, the Chinese word uh, wok spatula is translated directly into wok shuffle because it used almost like a shuffle. Uh, so other forms of uh, stirrer, such as this uh, wood and bamboo stirrer, are not designed for the job for stir fry, as you will see later in this video. Unfortunately, wok with non-stick coating could not use the standard steel spatula, uh, because the non-stick coating could not stand up the constant stirring without being scratched, as well as it were not able to sustain to high heat. So in order to use the standard steel spatula, you need to have a wok with a surface that could not be scratched and it could be re-seasoned over and over again. Because of this reason, I recommend woks such as a carbon steel wok or a light cast iron wok. And when those woks are properly taken care of and maintained, they're as good as a wok with a non-seized non-stick coating. It is a traditional wok spatula. Notice that the stem are round instead of flat to give it greater strength. A traditional wok spatula also comes in different lengths uh, for people who use in restaurants whether they cook in a very large wok. You notice that the wok spatula are designed with uh, edges on its sides just like a shuffle because indeed you're going to use it like a shuffle uh, in turning foods in the wok. Since the wok is designed to cook different quantity of food, so does the wok spatula is designed to use differently when you have different amount of food in the wok. You often use the wok spatula like a regular spatula when you cook a small amount of food in the wok such as sauteing garlic or frying an egg. As I put more food into the wok, I need to stir the food faster. So in this case, I start to use the spatula as a shuffle to turn the food over regularly. As you can see, the wok can handle a large amount of food and the wok spatula is to up to the task because it's designed to uh, able to stir large amount of food. Another amazing advantage of the wok spatula is that you can use it as a scraper as you cook. Anytime when you see any food that might stuck to the bottom of the wok during cooking, you can use it to scrape it off. Uh, as you can see, I'm cooking fried rice here and I noticed that some of the rice stuck to the bottom of the wok, so I used the wok spatula to dislodge them. Actually, the wok spatula is also uh, wonderful for cleaning after I'm done with cooking. As you can see, I used my wok spatula to scrape off uh, the food particle that might have stuck to the wok, and then under running water with my Pamara brush, I got it clean in a few seconds. Okay, now you can see this is one of the many reasons that I recommend a wok without non-stick coating to go with a stainless steel spatula.